Hey everyone, Enigma Coin Collector here, and it's time for the first nickel box of 2021. I was able to get a new bank, and they were very nice, and I asked for pennies and nickels. The pennies were all uncirculated 2020, so I'm going to have to find a place to get rid of them. But the nickels are circulated. I checked on the bottom. It's the type of the box with the holes. There's a lot of older designed uh, nickels, a lot of worn nickels. So I'm really excited for the box. Hopefully we'll get at least a silver and a buffalo. Maybe something else cool like a V-nickel or who else knows what. Got that weird code CWI number 12. I've had this box before, but uh, that code before. But the code on here says the stamp uh, June 10th, 2020. So it's a little bit of an older box if that is even the right date. But it is what it is. We're looking for those Buffalo nickels, the semi-key dates, key dates, Silver War nickels, over mint marks, 09s, forns, errors, and varieties, you name it. We'll be searching for it. Nickels are my favorite coin to hunt, and I'm happy to have a fresh box to hunt here. Enough chit-chat. Let's get ready to hunt with a live opening. I'll be keeping score below. The scoring method that I use is in the video description below as well. That was an easy tear job. And you can see what I see. And I don't see any enders, at least apparent enders, but I do see a lot of the older style Jefferson nickels, a lot of war nickels, which is a good sign. And that one is a 70, but we'll search them all and we'll get started with roll number one and see if we got any finds in this box. Well, this should be a really good sign. Roll number one, coin number two, and we've got our first find of the box. And it's a 1957, worth a point. It's from Denver, but it gets us on the board just about as early as you can get with a box. Roll number two, we've got our second find at 1940 this time, and it's from Philly. So we've got our first 40s in roll two. Roll number seven is going to have our next find. It's from the 40s, and it's another 1940. This one's still from Philadelphia. Roll number eight. And now we're back on the finds. Another 52 from... No, I'm sorry, this is a 52. We didn't have one yet, but it is a 52 from Philly. Still on that same roll, and we had an ender. 1953 that we're going to keep from Denver. Roll number 10, our next find in 1941 out of Philly. Roll number 11, we've got a 1942 that had some gunk on the date, so I had to I use my fingernail to remove it, but it is a 42 non-silver, unfortunately, uh, nickel out of Philadelphia. Roll number 13 had a 2009 Denver, which is nice. But roll number 14 is going to have something a little bit nicer. I saw the edge, and I immediately knew what it was. Look at that. 1936 Buffalo nickel. Not in bad shape either. In a circulated coin box. Very nice date. Here's the back from Philly. That is a really nice you can, uh, example. You can see the horn. Yeah, I will take that. Very cool to see a buffalo nickel this early in the box in such great shape. Hopefully we get some more finds. Either way, it's going on the board. Buffalo in the box. Same roll as that buffalo nickel. We've got another find, a 1941 out of Philadelphia. We're still on that same roll, and we've got another find, and this one's from the 30s, a 1939. I have had to flip it over to see the date, and I don't think I saw a mint mark. Yeah, there's no mint mark there. Would have been a key date had it been, but it's just a 39 Philly, and I don't see any doubling either. But yeah, definitely a 1939. Wow, what a great roll. Three finds, a Buffalo, a 30s, and a 40s. That is really, really cool. Roll number 19, we've got our next find, another 40s. This is a 48, and this one is going to be out of Denver, I believe. Yep, 48 Denver, not a semi-key date, but a find nonetheless that we will be keeping. 
Roll 20 has a 1940. So our third 1940 out of this one box. This one from Philadelphia. Next roll, roll 21, another 1940. Our fourth one of the box. From Philly. Roll 22, and I'm recording this with the hopes of pulling a Silver War nickel. That edge looks promising. It looks green. It looks worn. And it's got the P above the Monticello. We've got silver in this box. All right. Let me bring this up for you. Definitely a Philly mint mark. Silver War nickel in the box. It is worn. And it's a 1944 Philadelphia silver war nickel in the box. That is so sweet to get that. A buffalo and a silver already. This is a good box. Put that right there and keep on hunting. Same roll as that silver war nickel. We've got an ender. It was facing inward, so I couldn't see that it was a 54 out of Philly. But still counts. Goes on the board. Roll number 26, and we're going to have our first foreign of the hunt. And it's going to be this, a 1989. We're friends up north in Canada. Roll 27, and we've got our next find, and it's another 40s. 1946, so it's not going to be silver, and... Is that an S? That is a 1946. Yep, 1946 S. It's nice to see those San Francisco minted uh, older Jeffersons in the box. We will absolutely take it, and we'll have to make some room for them. Roll 33. We've got a really worn 40s here. It's a 1949 out of Philadelphia. Roll 36, and we've got another find here, 1940, minted in Philadelphia. So we're adding to that stack. <laughs> Next roll, roll number 37, and we've got a 47 that is pretty darn slick, minted in Philadelphia. And we're still in that same roll, and the ender looked old on the... Monticello side, and it was an ender. It was a 1954 minute in Philadelphia. Roll number 39 has a 1939. Check this out. A second year Jefferson. If we've got a mint mark, we've got a key date on our hands. Can we get one? Ah, nope. Just a Philly. We'll check for that doubling, though. No dice, but it's really cool to see a 30s Jefferson in the box. And that's actually our second one. So two 39s in the box. Same roll, and a few coins later, we've got a really nice 1940, the best one out of this box, minute in Philadelphia. Getting quite the stack of them. Roll 42, and we've got a 1957, so we've really been behind on the 50s finds in the box. 1957 out of Denver. Roll 43 had a little bit of a penny wrapper in it, <laughs> uh, but it also has a 19... 59. I thought that was a 39, but pretty sure that's 59. Yep, 1959. Minute in Denver. Roll 46 is going to have three finds that I see just by laying them out. First one is going to be at the end here. It's going to be our second foreign of the box, a 1998 from Canada. And then I see peeking out a really worn edge, and it's a 40s, 1946, minted in Philly. And then, at the end was an ender. It's a 1955 out of Denver. So it's not a semi-key date, but still, three finds in one roll is all right by me. 
Roll 50 is going to give us a parting gift as the box is just about done. We've got a 1953, it looks like, out of Denver that we add to the board. So unless there's another find in this roll, I'll be seeing you at the recap. Well, the first nickel hunt of 2021 is finally in the books. And you know what? It was a really nice box to hunt. Total of 54 points. So we had 10 from the 50s, 14 from the 40s, more from the 40s than the 50s. Two 30s Jefferson nickels, three 2009 foreigns, the one silver and the one buffalo. And those are going to be the stars of the show. This beautiful 1936 Philadelphia buffalo nickel in great shape was really awesome to find, as well as this 1944 Philadelphia Silver War Nickel. Very cool. No other finds to speak of. I did check for all the errors and varieties. Nothing else. Bunch of 1940s. I think six or seven of them in total. But there are the rest of the finds. Awesome box to hunt. Very fun box to hunt. And you know me, I love my nickels. We'll be doing nickel hunts again soon in the near future. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I release new content. Appreciate a thumbs up for this video. Leave a comment below if you've got something to say. And remember, it's always a mystery until you crack open those rolls and you find out what you got inside. Thanks for watching, everyone. Catch you on the next one.